Today we're in another house getting this ready for rent. Steve is cutting up the loo on before we can lay down any linoleum floors because this floor in here need a lot of patch job. Most of the patchwork you're gonna see is covered, but you're gonna lay down vinyl when you have a lot of patch job work from water leaks in the past, everything like that. You come in here and you lay down Luan. And the whole kitchen flooring is gonna be covered in this. There are a little bit of areas of um, a little bit taller plywood than this part of the floor, subfloor. So the reinforcement, I just went around and fast rock this like I did inside. The master, I'm gonna be coming in here and steam cleaning this carpet today. We pulled out the flooring in here, which was a vinyl, and we had to do a subfloor repair in front of the toilet. And so I put some subfloor, I don't know what they call it, fast rock patching, whatever you wanna call it, in the cracks, and then there was an area over here that needed to be torn out. So in here we're not going to lay down any luon because the majority of the floor is pretty even. And this is the original floor that was in here, but up there you can see we needed to put a nice piece of plywood, and the old plywood, and then the new plywood. And in here, with my big, this whole heavy duty steamer, I'm going to be coming in here and cleaning this rug probably about four times. In here we're going to pull out this carpet and put some new carpet. It's nasty and it wasn't laid down right. So once we get all the glue on down I'll come back and I will show you how it looks. Steve has to cut some odd ends for this kitchen so what he's working on right now this section over there in front of the sink with four by eight sheets. They're about 15 bucks each and there's two separate sides and the smooth side is what you want up because this is um, really good for as far as the glue that goes on to stick very well and it's super thin. I forget how thin it is. What, two tenths of an inch, something like that, Steve? Yes, two tenths of an inch thick. Yeah. And it's really pretty wood. We put this down in a bathroom on the Lee Park Road mobile home. So, here's his lines and his measurements, and he's gonna go ahead and cut that. We'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's finished. He's deep in thought, so I don't interrupt him when he's dealing with numbers. Today, I hear an angry woodpecker yeah. in the house. So let's go investigate. There's your angry woodpecker. Yep, we are stapling down Luan inches apart all the way around on all the seams, every other seam a couple of inches apart. So when you lay down your vinyl flooring, it covers all the imperfections of the plywood that I was showing you earlier. Gonna be here all, all day with nails. All right, we'll get back to you when we're done. Yeah. All right, the Luan is finished. 
been going around with the shop back pulling up uh, some old flooring and, and some staples and I wanted to show you what it looks like with all the glue on down. Uh, if you look closely, you have to see how close the staples are together, every other on each side, and even up here. And then um, also too, so it's not floating in the middle, I have to come back so I ran out of staples and put some around here. So when they put the linoleum down, it's not going to feel like it's floating. There's a couple of spots like right here. And I did some this morning over here because it was, it felt like a trampoline. And once I come back and do that, then today I brought my Rottweiler, Titan. Say hi, Ty. I can get him to speak. Here, sit. Good dog. Want to speak, Titan, today? Want to speak? Is that it? All right. Okay. So he's watching out for me. And then we're going to come over here. I've got the fan on in here. I've been trimming up some of this molding that's going to go around the tub. But it looks like we're going to have to take this tub back out because the person that installed it for us is kind of weak around here. It kind of moves, it's not supposed to move. And right around here, I can wobble back and forth. I don't think he put the legs or the stability in here the way it's supposed to be. So we're gonna have to double check that. So unfortunately, I was gonna come in here and finish this all up, trim this out, pocket everything, but Steve's gonna come and pull this out and we're gonna have to double check all this and also make sure he put the drain on right because we had to let him go. And so what I'm doing here is prepping this to waterproof it, get it all nice clean and white. And I'll put my quarter rounds down, clean this up. I've been in here cleaning up the sink and uh, we painted it white. And I'll be able to put the curtain rod up there for the shower curtain. Get myself a new plate right there. It looks ugly. And I'll be coming in here and shampooing this rug. And I'll do that after I'm done in this bathroom so I'm not tracking everything. But there'll be carpet in here. And some uh, linoleum, rolled linoleum in here. This carpet's looking pretty good. I've only shampooed it once. And um, there's a couple of stains that I'm gonna come over here and get up. I wonder if somebody did something. Ty, did you do that? Did you? Hey, did you do that? Did you pee pee in here? You know you're not supposed to do that. Bad dog. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, I didn't see that there yesterday. I think he did. And when I put carpet in here, I don't like to bring him because all of a sudden he's starting to mark wherever his mommy's at. But that's okay. I have a soap and vinegar trick that will soak that right up before it gets worse. And I'm going to do that. And shampoo that area really good. So this looks really good over here from the hard rocking. It's pretty smooth. And we'll be able to lay down the little linoleum in here. Shame on you. Put that head down. Naughty dog. Pee pee in on my carpet I just shampooed. Shame on you. Well, we're gonna go eat some lunch right now. <laughs>